everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna's Dream Life. We're going to be doing another planner video this week. Um, this time we are doing February the 26th through March the 4th. And as you can see, I've already got a sticker out. I just done the exact same thing that I did on Tuesday's video. I found some pictures um, that I liked and I put them in a template. And then I just printed it out on sticker paper. So let's get started. This is the sticker that I was most excited about. So we're gonna put this one down first and then just work around it. So as I was deciding which stickers to print and things like that. I tried to keep this color, uh, the color scheme. I really liked the yellows and the greens um, because it's getting so warm here. I also just printed off a long bar. And this is, I believe it's seven inches long and one point 1.75 inches in the width for this sidebar, but that doesn't cover this. If you want to cover this, I think you have to add another two inches um, to it. And then I just used the paint and made it yellow. There we go. One thing about sticker paper, it is definitely not like the stickers that come out of the Me and My Big Ideas book. That is for sure. Once it sticks, it sticks. So you have to be really careful when you're placing it or else you end up doing exactly what I just did and it will not come up. So I'm going to just take my scissors and trim that bottom part off. Those are the right dimensions. Um, I just should have moved it up a little bit further. Um, okay. Also, if you want to do this all the way up, I believe that it is 7.04 inches tall and then only 1.5 inches in the width. Okay. Since it is starting to feel so much like spring outside, let's put some spring flowers down. Sometimes this Dollar Tree washi is not all the same length for some reason, but I am not complaining. It's a dollar. I want to cover, do I? Yeah, all kinds of do. You. So 
So earlier today, me and my youngest daughter went shopping for college supplies. Breaks my heart. But at the same time, I'm really excited to um, that black shows through really badly. So I'm actually going to hold off on this washi. She got early acceptance to the college that she wanted to go to for marine biology. So I can already feel that empty nest starting and she hasn't even left yet. But that's okay because I am going to have plenty of stuff to keep me busy. I have two grandchildren as well from my oldest daughter. And then I have a son who wants to eventually, hopefully here soon, join the police academy. So that's exciting. All my babies are grown up. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, um, I'm covering up these black lawns with just scrap sticker paper that I have. It is... A really easy way that way you don't have as much non-used I guess sticker paper um, it can get a little expensive depending on what kind you buy now the kind that I buy is um, it's called I think it's like rock paper scissors or something like that and it comes with a hundred sheets and I get it on Amazon and the reason why I love this sticker paper it's a little hard to peel sometimes the back of it because there's no I guess um, start or opening for you so you do have to kind of get used to peeling it off but once you get used to it, it most of the time, it's not that hard. Um, but the reason why I love this one, this sticker paper, is because it is matte. You can write on it, which I really, really like. So if you, let's say that you just want some color in one of your squares 
you can use your template and just fill it with color, like a lighter color. And then you can write in it. Or if you're printing off, um, let's say you're printing the, um, what are they called? The free printables that you can find on like Pinterest. It has check boxes and things like that. But if you're using a glossy, a lot of times you can't write on that. Whereas this you can. Now the only downfall that I really have other than the fact that it is hard to peel at times is that the same reason that I love it because it's not glossy. So some of the stickers that you really want to kind of shine, they just don't because it is matte, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got that down and now we can put this washi down and it should be, we shouldn't be able to see that black one, at least not as much. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly spaced. It doesn't have to be like a certain width or anything. I mean, you can if it's going to bother you, but I put stickers down. Oh, no. So because I put stickers down, You can't really see where it overlaps the black one. There we go. And I'm just going to do the same thing over here. Uh oh, I'm running low. Come on, be enough. Oh no. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is because this one I don't think is gonna be long enough to cover. That is okay because I can put another sticker there to cover up the imperfection. Uh, okay, let's see here. And now I'm just gonna start going through the stickers that I printed off. And then just placing them where I wanna put them. And if you notice, there's a little bit of white right there. It's okay. I'm used to it. I never cut straight. It's just never going to happen. I gave up on that a long time ago. Doing these planners is so relaxing to me. I have a mini plant, mini happy planner that I pack in my purse. 
I have a classic Happy Planner, which is what I'm working in now. And then I also have uh -oh, a large Happy Planner. that I use. Go play outside. Absolutely. So I believe I'm going to put this here. Rise and shine. I was going to say this one. It says, keep calm and be happy. And it has a little B on it. But I was going to save it for my next spread. Because I think the next one is actually going to be B themed. And I cannot wait for that one. So you guys have to come back um, next Friday and check that one out. Or... Friday. Y'all know when to come in and check it. Okay. Let's see. Where do I want to put it? I don't know. Oops. Let's put it here. And I want one more there, I think. Let's do this one. Okay, so there's that. That one is a little crooked. That's okay. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip through here really quickly and just see I obviously want to add some checklists So we'll put that down there. Um, I need to remember to do my video list for this month. to figure out what videos I'm going to be putting out. I am pretty positive that this is my weekend to work. So I'm gonna put that down just in case I have anything else that I need to do. Mm. 
that right there. Um, I have a lot of quotes already, so I don't think I'm really going to add too much more on that front. I'll put this down here so that I remember. To do that list. Okay. Then that one. I'm going to add this here. on the bright side. And then we're going to put, because I do know that I work all weekend, we'll go ahead and put that there to remind me of that. So tell me, do you guys like to, do you like to use your own stickers when you do your planning or do you like to use these sticker books? I find that I like to use my own more and then accessorize, I guess, with the sticker books. I am going crazy with the yellow. <laughs> yellow. With the yellow. That is okay because it's my favorite color. I want to 
put this right here. Okay, now that that's done, I think I actually want to add a little bit of pink in. Just because I really, really liked the way that looked, that pink. So let's just go through here really fast. I think I want to add. This here. And I will use that for what I need to do this week. And I will actually put the videos that I'm planning over in this area. Mondays is usually when I do my meal planning. So I'll just write down meal plan right there so that I don't forget that. This is my mini, but these flowers to bring out the pink. Don't want to do too much. And then maybe Okay, I think I am about done. Don't see any more of those little checklists that I really like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a to-do list underneath here. of the ones that I'm absolutely sure of and then the ones that I'm not positive about yet. So this is from February the 26th through March the 4th. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see me do a specific themed spread um, with the printer uh, paper and the stickers, just leave me a comment below and I will try to do that. Um, I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, please hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe, and have a great day.